Hello and welcome to my last play on Death Spank, Fongs of Virtue. Those of you who have been with me for a long time, uh, 2013 I believe, will know that I actually just played the first Death Spank game uh, back then in January I believe. Um, and it is now time for its sequel, Fongs of Virtue. Uh, I'm not just playing this because I felt like playing it right this second, but uh, one of my Daimyo patrons, uh, CW3 Claire, he said, play this game, you son of a bitch, something along those lines. Um, because he quite enjoyed my, my campaign of it back in the day, of the first game, that is. And he, he I never actually does play the second one. I'm pretty sure at the time I wanted to, but and I even recorded a couple episodes, but I never actually ended up uploading any of it for some reason. I don't remember why, because it was four years ago. But anyway, here we are, almost five years ago now. That's mental. Um, so yeah, this is Death Bank, The Fongs of Virtue. Um, I believe this story does kind of go on from the first game, so it would be useful to know what happened in that one, but I don't really recall either. Hopefully the beginning cutscene will give us some more information on that. Um, but yeah, it's kind of difficult to explain what this game is, so we're just going to jump into it, and then you'll see. So let's play this a new game. This as good as one! This is kind of the game, actually, is this... the voice is amazing, and that's kind of it. Um, but yeah, this is, this is my save game from way back when. This is from just now when I just tested the game and see if everything worked. I'm just going to do a new one. Auto save future, that's all good. So we have three difficulties. I'm going to play on Vanguisher, which is normal difficulty. Uh, I'll leave the tutorials on, because again, it's been a long time for me as well. Uh, that's fine. That's This is all absolutely fantastic. Um, always show item names. Keyboard mode. Oh, I'm using controller, so there's no point in that. Anyway, let's do it. So, you've come to hear more. More of the hero to the downtrodden. The dispenser of justice. The vanquisher of evil. Known most of all as... Deathsbank. Deathsbank had defeated the evil Lord Ron Prong and discovered his life's quest was a lie. For you see, the source of the tyrant's power was a thong. A thong like the one Deathsbank wore. A thong full of power, justice, and wedging. Deathsbank traveled north seeking answers, but some answers are best left unfound. Captured by his enemies, Deathspank was at his lowest point. But low points for heroes always lead to high adventure. Somewhere, a new challenge for Deathspank has arisen. Seek it out and claim the glorious treasures in your quest for justice. All right, so, um... For those of you who are interested, uh, I won't recommend it, but I will leave a link in the description to my uh, original Let's Play of the... Well, my Let's Play of the original game, I should say. Um, back when I was a fat, chubby, uh, more disgusting looking person. Um, but, yeah, because I, I used the webcam back then on like every Let's Play I did. Um, but if you want to watch that, feel free to do so. I, I wouldn't necessarily re recommend it. The video quality by itself is already quite low and my commentary was not as good. And, Things like that, still pretty shit though, to be fair, but anyway. Um, so yeah, this is Death Spank. This is, this is the kind of, like, you just, you fight things and, and you peel potatoes, actually, as well. Um, is what you do right here. And then you get, you get food. Although, you know, this isn't really a vital part of the game, but I'm gonna grab some anyway, because I remember this is quite useful. Um, but yeah, we, um, we, we, this, the, we killed Lord Vong Prong, and, and then, yeah, we found out his power was, was because he was wearing a fong, and, um, again, it's, you, the story seems kind of weird, but, you know, if you played the first game, you, you'd know exactly what this is all about. Anyway, I need to break out of the POW camp, I promised I would meet Sandy and continue my quests. Um... Oh, hold on, this is... I wonder what this is about. I thought this is like from the first game, but I don't really know. Uh, anyway, 
I guess, yeah, that's what we have to do right now. So let's, uh, this is a, uh, a, a teleporting system. And also when you die, you, you come in uh, from there. Let me have a look. Inventory, right, this is where you go. So I can put these potatoes uh, on, on this thing. Um, put that down there. So these heal uh, over time and it's just insta-healing. Okay, I, uh, we'll figure it out. Go over here, you little twat. Okay, so you can see enemies kind of die pretty rapidly. Oh, you have pistols as well. Um, but it's like a mass, like, hack and slash type game. There are many game. weapons I can use at any time and in any location. Assign weapons any place, easy to reach. Yeah, whatever. We go. Oh, I didn't think you, I was going to actually interrupt him, but okay. So here we have several weapons. We have this uh, potato peeler, which is 95 physical damage, with the pistol, which is pretty shit, only does 15. And then this fire axe, which does 45 plus 55, so it does a total of 100 damage. So we're going to be using that. Make so you can sure just... you do this incredibly exciting, non-specific thing. I'm probably sure turn often, tutorials citizen. off after all. Um, but yeah, you can just have, on the bottom right, you can see I've just got four weapons equipped. Well, three right now, but you can have four weapons equipped. Um, and you just, like, use whichever one you feel you want to use at that particular point in time, basically. But yeah, it's essentially just a hack and slash, except it's got, like, incredible humor and stuff. You can also block, which I really ought to do. I don't know what the hell that thing is, but I don't like it. I'm being shot by pistols as well. Oh, it's this guy over here. Use weapons of justice when the justice meter is full. Fill the meter by hitting enemies and then smother them in rich, creamy justice. <laughs> All right, so we have a justice meter is ready now. So we can, if we had a justice weapon, which we have actually, we have to equip it. The Tesla one we just picked up. So let's put that over here. We also have this axe now, which is 104, which is better than the one we were using. Uh, restarts hearts and stops them forever, or stops them forever. So this has a justice weapon, or a justice thing, so we can use it, but I want to get near more enemies before I do so, because it's kind of a waste otherwise, because it's probably AoE. There you go. Oh god, I'm almost dead. Okay, hold on, I need to eat. Oh shit, I'm getting shot while eating. Oh my god, can you stop that? There we go. Nice, no, far enough away. I wasted a bunch of food, though. I didn't think he'd be following me, or being able to shoot me that closely still, but apparently he was. Where is he even? Who's this man that kept shooting me? Actually, we want to use uh, this item. You don't want to shoot- yeah, you're a sniper. Well, that makes sense now. Alright. I don't know if it's actually worth destroying all the barrels and stuff. There is money in there, but I'm not sure how much money is actually going to matter in the late game. I don't really remember from the first game. Can we open this? We can. We somehow... Oh yeah, we acquired a key, didn't we? Never mind. That's an explosive barrel, which we can shoot, I believe, but we haven't got a gun equipped anymore, so... Probably not right now. Chest here. Which has a shovel in it. Soldier Spade, which does... Stun all nearby enemies for five seconds, okay. So what exactly does this thing do, then? It doesn't really say. I guess it just does damage as well. Okay, well, this is fine. Uh, I guess I'll put the pistol on here just in case I want to range something real quick. Okay, so we should use the shovel or this thing. Can this... No, you can't charge it. I don't know how exactly... I guess it's the melee weapon as well. Quest added. Talk to three POW soldiers. Okay, oh shit. I guess that's actually pretty useful, shooting the barrels. That's a good idea. Anyway, let's talk to POW soldier one. Greetings, fellow shower buddy. That's Bank. I'm glad you're here. Of course you are! It's shower time soon! True, but you know the plan that me and the boys are cooking up, right? No, but it smells delicious. No, but maybe if you hum a few bars. No, but if it involves whittling, I'm in. Does it have realistic depictions of violence and or adult situations? No, but it smells delicious. No, but it smells delicious! Listen, we have a cunning plan of escape, and we need your help! I've never said no to a cunning plan, and I'm not starting today. There's a drawbridge northeast of here. We want you to lower it so we can leave. Not sure I described that as a plan, much less a cunning one. Unfortunately, there's one small obstacle that's still in need of a solution. Your guard will never let you pass Death Spike. Violence is the answer. Excessive violence is the answer. Gratuitous violence is the answer. Tea party is the answer. A tea party is the answer! We could do that, or we could disguise you to look less like, well, 
you. Right. I could dress up like a lady orc and distract him with my come-hither look. What a terrifying image. Just keep the disguise simple, Deathbank. Right. I will pose as a mild-mannered orc soldier and slip by undetected. Good. Once you clear the way, the rest of us can follow. Oh, and beware of the jungle beasts on the other side of the gate. They'll eat anything that moves, even laundry right off the clothesline. Alright, thanks POW Soldier 1. Let's talk to POW Soldier 2 now. Greetings, bunk buddy! Ah, oh, death spank, old chum. Impeccable timing! I assume you've been brought up to speed on our most recent escape attempt. The one where I load a drawbridge and get a cookie. The one where I dig a comp complex series of tunnels with our teeth. The one where we fashion weapons out of bars of soap and shoe polish. The one where we build a catapult out of plastic spoons and duct tape. The one where we overpower the guards of our seductive psychic, psychic abilities. This, honestly, these answers sound like a, a game of, um, what's that called again? The, the card game where you choose, like, the funny cards. Oh, God. Uh, cards Against Humanity, that's the one. Anyway, drawbridge. The one. one where I lower the drawbridge and get a cookie? Ah, uh, good to see you on top of things, old chap. But you've missed one crucial detail, Despank. You'll never get past the guard without showing the right papers. Machismo will solve that. Ma Machismo? Is that the right... Testosterone? Silicone? Mutual respect and understanding? Mutual respect and understanding will solve that. Oh, let's not be so hasty, Deathspank. We are not without our advantages. It seems that literacy among orcs is rather non-existent. Meaning? They can't read. They're just waiting for the movie version. <laughs> That's what happens when you cut funding to the schools. How will they know if they if their cereal contains riboflavin? Flavin. That is actually... <laughs> <laughs> Readings from Nerds and Hobos, anyway. It's a good one. Hey, cats! How will they know if this cereal contains riboflavin? The Orc God doesn't know the difference between ID papers and erotic equine poetry. Well, I'm thinking they would have slightly different pictures on the cover. That's why you're going to create your own documents. To avoid problems like that. Death Spank, old chap. We're counting on you. Of course. I'll do all the work while you do nothing. Here we got a POW vendor. Hold on, I want to talk to him real quick. Hello. Oops, I just shot a barrel. Greetings, Alchemist. Let's see what's on the tap today. Mm, let's see what's on tap today. A minor stealth potion and a pure, delicious avian leg. Um. Well, you know what? I don't know if this is useful at all, but I'm sure we don't really need this money right now. Let's buy it. I'm gonna shoot some barrels before I talk to POW soldier number three. Because these barrels, they're looking at me funny. Ooh, there's some, some avian leg. That actually is really quite useful to have a, a gun to shoot barrels with. I don't remember ever needing, like, hey, there's a cookie right there. Needing, like, Consume every single one. fortune cookies to unlock hints on how to complete quests. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Anyway. Hello. Greetings, Pierre! Quiet, this bank. They are listening. We must use the code. The moose is tall and brown, but today he feasts on haggis. Oh, Jesus. Lower the moose and we can all get haggis out of here. <laughs> I heard a yellow snow is delicious this time of year. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty high-maintenance moose to me. If you pick up a starving dog and make him prosperous, he will not bite you. A moose once bit my sister. I hear the yellow snow is delicious this time I of year. I hear the yellow snow is delicious this time of year. Be serious, this bank. The underground is relying on you. I don't understand you, Pierre. Use your words. Sigh. Go lower the drawbridge and get us out of here. Why didn't you say so? No problemo. Bien. So you know the password, then? Password. You don't know the password? You can't get past the guard without the password. Sure, I know it. The password is... Oh, just this vanquishing, downtrodden, snowberry... Strawberry shortcake, even. Snowberry without... Strawberry shortcake! Deathbank, please. Without the password, the escape plan will fail before it begins. I guess what? I'm gonna need to find that password. Any ideas? Ugh, if I knew that, I would already have it. Fine, I'll figure something out. 
Burn the revolt begins password. now. Vive la revolution! <laughs> the only thing revolting around here is your face. Zing! <laughs> Got him. Oh, wait. Wait, do we not need any of that stuff now? They just open the gate. Or is- oh, never mind, this is not the gate we were talking about. Okay, hold on. Uh, we gotta murder- what the- oh, god. Oh, I, I just used my justice immediately. Oh, man, okay. I gotta get back to the hang of things here. I need to heal. Eat that potato. Oh, he's leaving me. Okay. I might want to eat some, uh, some of the other food, which heals a lot faster. Oh my god, look at that, that's okay. Yeah, that was maybe a bit of a waste, actually. Okay, so yeah, I've just got to kind of lure him out. Maybe, like, make, make sure they don't hit that at least, the charge. Oh god, I didn't know where the fuck he was gonna go. Oh, that money's still there from the, the barrel I hit earlier before I tried to talk to the vendor. We can hit that. I don't want to hit the. Oops, that one is what I tried not to hit. But here you go. Sometimes busy heroes overlook things. These things then find their way to dumpsters. They've never figured out how, and it's not important. All right. So yeah, if we find, if you lose any or don't pick up any items, they'll be in here. Storage chest. We can, as you might expect, store things in. It's pretty useful. Let me heal up a little bit. This food is much slower healing, but we have only got so many of the other better ones, so... I probably should try and block more as well. You can do that, like, constantly. Anything down here? Nope. Is the answer. There's interrogated chickens. Oh! I wasn't sure if they were going to attack me, but... I just used the, uh... Justice attack immediately, which is kind of unfortunate. Not what we want to have in mind, but they will level up over time as well in this game. Gain experience and just killing things. What the hell? I crit it. Oh, that was such a waste. That's the downside of the having a weapon as your main weapon that is a justice weapon. I stunned the main chicken. Boom. Oh, find an item to write with. Oh, sweet. I didn't realize that was what I was doing, but here we are. Okay, and I leveled... I didn't level up from that, but I did gain a whole bunch of health back from that, so I guess that's good. Is the... Hold on, I need to check this. Is the shovel even the best damage we've got? It doesn't say, so I'm not sure if it is. I might as well want to hit with, like, I'm pretty sure it isn't, actually, because it does, like, 90-something damage. This should do 100-something. About the same, I think. Alright, that works. Oh, man, that fire is, like, decently fast. No reload, of course. Justice ready, alright. I'm trying, trying not to use that. Accidentally this time. A heroic, hero's heroic trinket, which I believe is like a yeah, an equipping, equipable thing. Plus 15 health and resist 3% on death. We have these POW items that are all just basic stuff that don't do anything. Okay, and then we picked up a potion just now, a minor speed potion. And also, what we can do is we can take this. Follow um, this handy advice grinder. closely to succeed in adventuring. And then you can just you grab it. Uh, there you go. And then you just like throw it over this, for example, and you grind it down to something that's worth 120 to 180 bucks. So instead of having to sell everything, you just do this instead. Pretty useful. Right. So we have something to write with. We still need a password. There's no other ways to go, is there? There's a map. Uh, yeah, we have to go north. Next to the camp. Okay. Might as well eat a potato on the way there, I suppose. You level a little bit slowly, but surely. I think when you level up, you get to choose a card, like one of three cards or something, and they give different things. It's pretty useful. Get, like bonuses and stuff. I don't remember what exactly to do, but 
Oh, maybe you could do something with that, but you can't. Alright, more of these beast things. I think I should just... I don't know. Oh god. I'd be less scared anyway, I'm just gonna stun that guy and just spam him to death. Oh man, that's a lot of HP this guy's got. Ah, uh, block. Okay. Oh, I got a uniform item, apparently. This is fucking World of Warcraft, where items drop like that from, from enemies. Stun this guy and spam him to death. Die, you son of a bitch. Oh man. Okay, we gotta eat like a proper meal here. There's another item. Oh, that's why. Okay, it was a hint. it was a hint. He said um, they eat anything that moves, including clothes off the clothesline. So that's basically saying they are gonna have the items. But not that I would have missed them anyway. You have to kill these guys to get through here. So Let's see that chest. Don't worry. All right, so we got our uh, our clothing. Go wrecked, son of a bitch. Oh. Okay, what? Oh, that's a use whiff. Sorry, I yeah, yeah. pressed the wrong button. Got spamming. Some more stuff. Can I see? I can zoom out a little bit, but I can't really see anything. No barrels, I guess. Alright, what? Oh, okay, let me kill that jungle squid first. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't want to go this way yet. I just wanted to have a look around. Okay, let me uh, look at the map here. Oh, that's not the map. Let's look at the map here. Right, so we can go... This way goes to the jungle and the latrine, and this way goes, like, everywhere else. I want to see if I can already go here. I don't know if I saw a bridge here or not. There... Oh, that's the draw bridge, right. So that's where we have to go eventually. So we have to go to this, this way first here. Okay. I can do it. I guess there's going to be some of the jungle things popping out. There you go. Oh, there's a boss. Stun him. Oh, man, I stun like... Oh, no, they're immune. Oh, God, that's actually really painful. Eat, nom, nom, nom. Oh man, it's following me. Oh shit, it actually followed me all the way over here. Okay. Let's see, a little shit. Where's the boss guy though? He was low. Hello, boss dude? I want your experience. Did I. No, did I bug him out? Is he not gonna arrive anymore? That was a ton of experience I probably just missed out on. That's a shame. I remember something about these things, about this area. I hate this detail. Tell me about it. I'm pretty sure I only played the first like hour and a half of this 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 game. Yep, that's right. I, f I had a feeling. Oh shit. Okay, these guys. Oh my word. Okay, they shoot out small ones that explode or something, or they shoot out bombs or what have you. Oh god, this is not gonna go well, is it? I'm gonna do a mass stun here. Kill the boss guy real quick. Or, you know, not real quick. Let's kill these ones first. Die, you son of a bitch. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Oof. Oh, and I healed from that. Okay. I'm really close to leveling. I'm pretty sure we hadn't missed out on that one enemy. Huh? What's the matter? I can't go! I hate to! Let's gnome! Say something to help me relax! Well, our password is pretty relaxing. It's... And the mighty orc barks back. <sighs> okay. There we Rattling go. Up strengthens up. my abilities and gives me a new hero card. A hero card? How do I use this hero card? There you go. Nari level 2, Chaser of Devils. Devils flee from Deathspank from here to heck and back again. Health, damage, and block time have increased. You move 5% faster, you can use level armor level armor one level higher, or your block lasts 10% longer. I'm pretty sure these are like if I pick this one, then the other two will pick uh, pop up again at some point anyway. Um I'm gonna do I don't really know what I want to do, but I'm gonna go for that one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure eventually you basically pick all of them over time anyway. Right, so we got that level up. 
now we're gonna go back to the POW camp. I think. Moving is pretty useful as well. Like, more useful than you think, not just for moving around faster, you know, just in general, but also... Oh, there it is. Oops, that's the wrong button. But also because, of course, sometimes you have to run away from enemies. Oh, I'm glad I actually managed to... Oh, I had to kill that thing. Well, there you go. Um, some, also because you have to run away from enemies sometimes, and, and having the ability to run faster is quite useful. Do I just uh, go into my inventory and combine these items then? Hold on. Or, oh, I have to actually equip them. Right, that makes sense. Can I just do equip here? Yeah. Alright, and then we have... What else? Quest-wise. Need some fake orc ID to convince me the orc. Okay, I have to make that somehow. Don't try to uh, cross the bridge. Okay. Alright, so I just have to make that. Do I talk to someone about that, or... I didn't see it in my inventory. This guy wants to talk, it seems. Greetings, little soldier! Still trying to forge those identification papers. Do you have any idea how I can forge an ID? Why do you keep calling me old? Do you have any idea how I can forge an ID? How do you think it should be done? Well, first, I'd find something to write with. I guess next I'd need something to write on. By Jove, I think he's got it. And I'd draw a bunch of dinosaurs shooting lasers at a helicopter. Perhaps not. All right, I think, uh... Time for me to spring into action! Inventory. Godspeed, old chum! Old chum. Uh, is it... There it is, right, we have... Um... Move and combine. And then... There you go, fake orc idea. Name Fred Q. Rumpelstanger Race Orc. Alright. So now we have that. Now I assume... We didn't have to come back here, I guess, but I can I can assume we now have what we need to pose as an orc and cross the bridge, or have them lower the drawbridge anyway. Hello! Halt! Who goes there? I am totally an orc like yourself. See my uniform? You ugliest orc I ever see! Damn. You sound like my mom! Show me your identification papers! Of course, good sir. I have them right here. Of course, good sir. I have them right here. Ooh. Is everything in order? I, uh... If you need some help reading it from there, I could... No, no! Those papers are okay! Of course they are! The lone barrel of barks at midnight. Twelve monkeys, eleven hats. Our monkey is sad. Yet he prays from the colonic justice of high noon. And the mighty orc barks back. That's the right one. Perhaps we can pick this up again later. Right, and a mighty orc barks back. You free to pass. Yay! We've done it. Hey, you're that death spank guy. No, no, that's not me at all. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Damn, I didn't really stun many with that. I'm also using the wrong weapon, really. Can you stop shooting me, you son of a bitch. God, okay, stun. Oh, that's good. That's really good. That's where the speed would come in a little bit as well. I mean, 5% is not much, of course, but definitely help. I was hoping you were close enough. But he wants. Oh, that's it. Alright. Anything we didn't loot? Yep, some barrels right there. Some food. That's always fantastic. Speaking of, let's eat some. I should eat that last potato, just to get it out of my way, actually. Um, yeah, we'll do that, we'll do that soon. Got some nachos, which I'm guessing is the next level up food. There's a, a, a chest here. First they- oh! Well, oh, never mind, it gives you a, uh, potion, which I can't carry because I have too many already. That's crazy. See, so this is an outhouse, which is out of order, actually. Okay, never mind. The revolt begins now! Vive la revolution! If you say so, buddy. Oh god. Oh, they're dead. Enemy attacks can be avoided by heroically blocking. Blocking protects me from all attacks and most criticism. Alright. Do I need to block his attacks or something? Oh yeah, maybe. 
Oh god. Oh, I need. I see. Okay. Well, that was kind of painful, but let me eat that potato, which is going to do absolutely nothing right now, but. It's better than absolutely nothing. It's, it's not really. Actually, it's like the same thing. Let me, um. Let me put these nachos on here. They heal for 200 over 8 seconds. Okay, so they're a little bit better. A fortune cookie. Death Bank has many friends! Nah, I haven't got any friends, I'm afraid, so there goes that idea. We have a boss fight coming up here. Oh god. Stun! Stop knocking him away. Makes things so much easier, or uh, difficult even, more difficult. It makes things so much difficult. Stop. I should actually block while, while that's happening. Okay, let's kill these other ones. That's not a flamethrower, dude. It's in here. A new sword. Is it any good? 150? It certainly is. Let's use that. Oh god, I'm actually legitimately gonna die here. I thought maybe I could resist that for a little bit, but... Oh, how did that hit me? Come on. Oh, wrong button, no. Those guys are pretty tough to deal with. Even blocking doesn't really work that well. Let's kill these guys as well. Make sure I don't actually walk into any enemies I don't want to be dealing with. Nice, that worked out. Alright. So last is the big boss guy, I guess. Don't know what this guy does, but I've got a feeling it's damage. Anything over here? No. Alright. We're basically full health. The Commandor. Oh, wait, we even want to talk to him. Hello. My incredible monocle sees through your disguise, Deathbank. The Nordic master requires weapons and peeled potatoes. No unkept hero such as you may defeat me. You will work until you die. Die maybe, but work never. Your Nordic master will be peeling you off the floor. No orc calls Deathbank unkempt and lives. No orc calls Deathbank unkept and lives. <laughs> it is I. It will take more than your stylish hair and prison abdominals to defeat me. Die, minor character. Oh god. Oh god. Can I stun him? Oh shit. I'm guessing we don't want to be near that. God, I need to get rid of some of these ads here. Unless he kills them as well, I'm not sure. That's a lot of paratroopers here. Like, I wonder if that kills them. It does. Fantastic. I don't know why I... Oh god. I need to heal. The moment you get hit, it kind of interrupts your healing, so you gotta be kind of careful. What's that fucking plane there? Oh god. A lot of guys. Kill your friends! Stun them all! Oh my god, that's a mass fucking stun. I'm just gonna sit through it and take it. I'm gonna go in for another run, basically. Oh no! I'm running out of food! Oh, he's gonna kill all of them? I wonder if I get experience for that if he kills them. Thank it. Oh, we did it. Am I gonna get killed by these dudes? Oh, there's a lady again. Oh, I got a... I got this monocule. Are they running away from me now? Hey, come back here. Let me get your experience. Hold on. Oh, that didn't... Oh, no, actually. I was gonna say. It didn't really do a lot of damage, but it kept going. There's actually a lock-on mechanic I've kind of neglected so far. There, you can see, like, I'm locked onto this guy. 
automatically locks onto the next person if you're facing the right way. Come here. Let me kill you. I'm not sure if I'm even getting any experience from these guys, but whatever. I guess maybe you don't, because you could probably technically farm him until you're like level 100,000. Or, you know, something like that. Anyway. Let's make our way... Oh, hold on, let's have a look at his monocle. The classiest weapon of all time. Hold down to charge up shots. Okay, hold on, this seems pretty good. Let's get rid of our, um, that thing. Our that thing. Alright, however... I am going to end this episode here because it is a perfect place to end right after a boss fight. Thank you guys for watching the first episode of Death Spank, The Fungus of Virtue. Thank CW Fiedler for being a daimyo patron and suggesting for me to play this game. Until next time, have a good day and goodbye.